video where we talk about elastic search uh, in the previous video we had talked about uh, how to uh, what are compound queries and how to write them in this video we'll actually write uh, the three uh, compound queries which we learned about in the previous video and see how they work now <clears throat> before starting the video we have our elastic search running and keep on running as well so that we can directly start writing the queries and get the results and these are the queries which we talked about. We talked about the Boolean query, which is the default query for combining leaf or compound query clauses, must, should, must not filter clauses. And we talked about the boosting query where you can uh, assign positive and negative boosts uh, to your queries where the relevance of the score, score of documents changes based on whether it's a positive query or a negative query. And the last thing which we talked about in the previous video was the constant score query where it wraps uh, a query into another query and executes it in a filter context, context. So all the matching documents are given the same constant score. We talked about these, we talked about uh, the individual working, how they work, how they can change and why they're important. Uh, in this video, we'll actually write some queries. So we'll actually make up some scenarios where we have to write some queries for a database. So uh, in the previous videos, we have talked about using the banking database, which was found in the documentation. So there, please check, I'll have the link in the description. You can download the database and index it to Elasticsearch. And now we can start writing our uh, queries. So the first query is the Boolean query. Now we talked about this before where we wrote our own queries. This was the first query which we wrote, but since it also is the first compound query, let's write again. So what we need to do here is that we need to write a query to search for addresses that have either a lane or a street in the name and have an account balance between 20,000 and 30,000. So since we're using the banking database, the database has the addresses and the balance of person. And we need to write a query to search for addresses that have either a lane or a street and have a balance between 20,000 and 30,000. So let's just start writing it. First, this is going to be a get API call to search and we have a query and inside a query we have bool because we're going to use that and inside bool it should must match either lane or street so let's write must first and let's write properly in our way not autocomplete so must match the address and the address can be lane or street. So, uh, wait, I think I missed the match. Yep. Must match the address. And uh, we've talked about in the previous videos is that uh, we have to match either lane or street, but match searches for the substring as well. So it searches for lane, street, and lane and street. So we don't have to write two match queries for searching for both. Now we're good. Now do. Now we need filter. Because we want to filter out a balance between 20,000 and 30,000. So filter, and then this is going to be a range. The field is balance greater than 20,000 or equal to and less than 30,000. And this is how we write a simple Boolean query where we have must and uh, the query context and the filter context uh, together in a single query. Let's run this. And as you can see, we get the output. We get total 85 hits. Uh, we get the church lane and it has around 23,000. We get pools lane with 24,000. So it's, uh, as you can see, the relevance score as well. And that is how a Boolean query works. This has, this had already been discussed in detail in the previous videos, and I'll link that in the description as well. Next comes the boosting query, where we actually uh, give a positive score to a certain query and negative to some based on, based on how we want it. So here we just have a simple use case where uh, we have to write a query to search for addresses that include church and lane both. 
but we want to prioritize church over lay. So make uh, sometimes we have a database where uh, we want to find all the people uh, who are living in an area, but we want to uh, only prioritize people who live near a church or have a church in the names to prioritize, and that is where the relevance or the score of documents come into the picture and where boosting queries can really help a lot. So let's see how we would write this and actually uh, also give it a negative boost score as well, which uh, I think we've seen here. So let's give it a negative boost of 0 0.5 just to see how it works and see what the difference it makes. Again, we have a get request and so API, which we need to get back. Let's have some parentheses right there. So it's a query and what we're doing is boosting. Uh, the, the syntax, uh, I'm referring to this syntax here. So this is what I'm currently typing and I'm using the same uh, format or the structure of these queries so that I can understand them better. So don't worry about uh, knowing the syntax for how to write these queries. Just see the examples on the documentation, how they write it. It's pretty intuitive. It's pretty easy to understand that we are having a query. We are performing the boosting API. We have positive terms. We have negative terms. We are assigning some negative or positive boosts to it. And that is how it works. So don't worry about the syntax. Uh, the syntax can be learned or do not worry about it. Worry about how to frame the queries based on what use case you have. So let's continue. We have positive and we have a term. So the term goes like a d d r e s s and the address is church. Okay, awesome. So we give two and now we have negative and we have a negative term, same as before. And the term is address and we want lane to be negative. Now skip to and give it a negative boost. So let's give it a 0 0.5 and see how that works. So here, what we did was we wanted to search for both church and lane, but prioritize, uh, get the church results first and the lane second. And you want the difference of that to be by 0 0.5. So let, let's see what I mean by that. And we've run this and let's just focus on the score first. So we get two options, we get two outputs, Church Avenue and Church Lane. As you can see, uh, Church Lanes comes last and Church Avenue comes before. Now look at the score here, that's the score. The score is 5.99, let's take it as six. And the score for the second one is 2.99, let's take it as three. So the negative boost uh, reduce the score by half, exactly half. So the first uh, result which we get is 36 Church Avenue has a score of 5.99 and Church Lane has by 2.99. So in this way, you can not only uh, manipulate the order, but also the score of what you want and then have some uh, applications to it later. But this is how you can actually uh, manipulate your queries with boosting API. So the last component query uh, for now, uh, we have two more left, which we'll be discussing in the next video. But for now we have the constant query where we make sure that they have the same relevance. So we'll be using the same example as before. We want church and lane both to be found, but with the same relevance. So let's see how we would write the query for that. And as you can see, I'm using Kibana. Uh, the dev tools in Kibana right here, the uh, tool here, dev tools. And as you can see, you can re uh, write this in real time, uh, search for it. You don't have to do any curl commands as you know, copy as curl and write on your terminal. You can use this console, it's pretty intuitive, pretty easy to use. And as you can see, I can, uh, I can have different parts of my query. So uh, just running this will not run the entire script, we'll only run this part. And I can run each of the parts fragmented and individually, which is like really great. So let's write the third constant query, constant score query, sorry. Okay, so get bank and we need search. So uh, just uh, make sure that before you see the implementation, you will just pause the video and try out uh, to try to write the query as well. Uh, there won't be much changes to do in the query. You can just see 
uh, the documentation, see their examples. Uh, I've been mimicking their examples because their uh, the documentation, as I keep specifying, is the easiest place to learn from, and it's really good. So you just see the way the structure in the which way they write their queries, and you can just uh, follow the structure and write your own queries in the same way. So let's go query, and the query has constant score, and the filter has term and term is address and church. I'm sorry about the sound uh, behind. Just bear with me for some time. Okay, so it's church and lane. Let me just go back to church now. Yep. So this is for church. Everything, uh, all of it gets, uh, all the hits are only for church. And now I copy the same thing and do the same thing for lane. So if I don't do it for lane as well, I can just get the same output. So I get church avenue and uh, church lane. So the database is put in that way so that we can do output. But if you have more uh, addresses which have church and lane common, you can just type lane here and you can get uh, the common score for lane as well. So, yeah, for church, we run this and the output is church lane and church avenue. And you can see the score is 1.2 and 1.2, which we actually asked it to. So, if we put as 1.00, we get the score as 1.0, 1.0. So, yeah, so that is how we write compound queries using Elasticsearch in Elasticsearch. And in the next video, we'll talk about the dismax query where a query can accept multiple query and return any documents which match any of the query classes. So it'll be a fun uh, compound query to work with. And we also talk about the function score query, where you can modify the scores written by the main query with functions that you know take into account factors such as popularity, recency, distance. So, you know, good, good filters to add, you know, custom algorithms to add to your compound queries to make uh, your queries much better for the user. Yeah, just make sure uh, that you have dev tools ready to implement your uh, queries and you're good to go. Thank you.